says here is an unclean spirit. An unclean spirit, a filthy, evil spirit. Yeah, I, I've told you all before, I don't know if I've told these people on, who are looking at me on the screen right now. But when I was a pretty new Christian, I was going to a strong Bible-believing church. I guess Satan didn't show up with me at church. And Satan didn't pay attention to me. It was a demonic. Satan's got his own big fish to fry. But I was laying in, in my bed all alone in the apartment, my, my parents condominium that they had they were off in arizona and i was laying in that bed and poof out of nowhere i felt the most evil presence in that room everything was dark so i could not see but the most evil presence was in that room and i could tell you exactly where in that room it was it was at the end of the the bed at the corner looking at down on the left side and it was the most filthy presence that I have ever experienced in my life. And as I was looking in that exact direction, I felt the end of the bed go down like somebody was sitting on it all of a sudden. Well, I was going to a Bible-believing church, and I began to spout scripture and say, get out of here, Satan. You have no right to be here. Just had a, a sermon preached on... Uh, where the pastor had used an illustration out of out of Psalms, uh, verse uh, five of chapter three, about a, a missionary who was being uh, oppressed like that. And he said, "I lay down and slept. I woke for the Lord sustains me." And I just started repeating that: "Lay down and sleep, sleep because the Lord sustains me." And it, it went away. But a week or so later, poof! It was back. Back in the room again, almost the same scenario. Just got in bed, lights went out, boom. I think God likes to do things like that because if we do it once, oh, was that a dream or was that, what was that? Or, did that really happen? Happen again. Same spot in the room. This time it didn't stay there. This time it didn't push the end of the bed down. This time I could just sense it walking up from the bottom of the bed along the side of the bed. I was just watching in darkness as this presence, unbelievably filthy presence, was walking all the way up to the front where I was looking right at it. Nothing there, and then the darkness. But where I was looking at, I could just almost feel breath. Then I heard this, ah! And I started spouting scripture again. Disappeared. Never been back. Why does God allow permission? That had to have permission to happen. Why does God allow that? Why did God allow that with Peter? When he allowed it with Peter, he said, Peter, after you have gone through this, you're going to strengthen your brethren. After Job went through what he went through, Job was blessed twice as much as before. And the reason he went through it is the reason why we read about Job and he becomes that icon to help us deal with Satan. Now, Satan, he's willing to gamble. He'll go after certain people, but sometimes he loses big when he doesn't win big. If he could take down Peter, wow. But he didn't. Peter ended up being a major force. I don't know why he allowed a demon to come after me, but it didn't take me down. It actually strengthened my faith because I can know for sure it happened. It's out there. It's real. It left no question for the rest of my life about the reality of spiritual things. What the disciples were going to go through was not meant to destroy their faith, but to build his school of faith. But you have to know that just like Jesus, when even Satan was tempting him using the word of God, deceitful doctrines of demons, that he, you've got to know the word of God. You've got to stand on truth because that is what God responds to. And Satan is under that authority. 